standing on a ladder outside of my friend's bedroom window looking in because I'm weird or creepy. He decided to fall asleep in my house and I'm just curious what he's doing because I'm ready to start my day. But I really don't think there's anything weird or creepy about it. Comment down below if you think it's weird or creepy. I really hope that Dave doesn't see this before he edits whatever it is he films here today. <laughs> Top of the Aloha, friends and family, I'm Brian Cusco. In today's video, we have a very, very special guest. What can I say about this guy? He is an author of multiple books. He's produced and directed a lot of movies that have been released globally. He is, God, you just can't say enough good about this guy. Everybody loves him, especially the ladies. He's toured the world, on and on and on. I just can't say enough good about him. But unfortunately, he wasn't available, so we got Dave Kaufman instead. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, if that intro was not blatantly obvious, and also the fact that he's sitting right here in the vehicle also doesn't make it blatantly obvious, Dave Kaufman is in town. I am beside myself that Dave came up to join us here because, as many of you may know, or maybe you don't know, I used to watch Dave on YouTube a lot when I was still even pre-thinking about making any videos myself, and I thought, man, that guy makes some good videos. They're like <laughs> professional even. It's pretty cool. So to have him sitting in my truck and getting to show him around California a little bit, even though we've got to hang out a bunch oh, yeah. since then, it's still this part where you've come to visit me is like, I'm, I'm giggling inside like a little schoolgirl, even I, though. I am too. No, you know, it's, I've always wanted to see elephant seals in the wild. And wow, you delivered. That was just. <laughs> sums it up we got the kid we got the kiddos in tow it's actually eli's real birthday lucky for us eli actually wants to see elephant seals and otters and everything we're going to hope to see today huh eli and also i want my own snack he also wants his own snack so we're gonna have to make sure we deliver that for him too but yeah so we saw the elephant seals and uh now we're gonna go try and see some otters and at the end of it we're hoping to see some rattlesnakes worst case scenario we don't find rattlesnakes out here on the coast I'll take Dave back to the snake room and we'll just have him hold some of my snakes instead. So either way, score. Well, I imagine you guys recognize this next spot. This is our favorite little beach to come down to, remember? Remember? Three stacks, three stacks, yeah, you can't even see them. It's so foggy you can't see them. I swear there are three stacks and a rock. You can kind of see the rock just barely coming through the fog. Three stacks and a rock. The stacks are over there. Anyway, this is our favorite little beach spot. We come to all the time. You guys know this spot. Those of you that watch the channel a lot. Huh, Mushi? We should know this spot by now, huh? Huh, T? We need more love? You need more love, T? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every time we come down here, we can almost guarantee that Noah's gonna fly out to those rocks and go chicken for crabs and whatnot. So, pretty cool. I like that I, like that I can count on him to go out there exploring, looking for adventure. It's a good kid. As soon as he gets back here, I'm gonna ask him what he knows. What do you know? I know. Shells. What about shells? That they have creatures inside them, but then the creatures could lose their shells and die. And they're hard, but a hammer could definitely break. And that's all I know. So the crazy thing is I thought this was going to be the easy spot. Like I was like, oh, you want to see some otters? Oh, I got you covered, Dave. We'll find some otters. No problem. No problem. I thought the rattlesnakes and the elephant seals were going to be hard. Actually, we already got the elephant seals. And now I'm kind of wondering about the otters because it's super foggy out here. Even if they're out there, they're kind of hard to see. So I don't know, man. Dave, I don't know, dude. Well, I don't, you know, see, I don't see any otters yet. 
I thought there's usually otters all over the place here. I'm like, oh, look at all those otters. Now it's like, where are they? You know, it's called Dave Kaufman's Reptile Adventures, not Dave Kaufman's Mammalian Adventures. However, I do want to see an otter. I really do. I want to see them smash, just, just pulverize an oyster on their bellies, like I do. Hey, Eli. What? What do you know? I know. What about seagulls? That they die for food and talons, and that's why I know. Look, we came to the rescue with some pizza. Hey! Find my best. Oh my God! <laughs> Whoa, Noah, that's a big fish. Hi. <laughs> wow. Noah and I went fishing. I guess so. What is that? Like a red snapper? Yeah, we already ate it. Mm. Yeah, we started with the eyeballs, Cavemen. right? Caveman. You all don't stand hey, on it. Yes. What do you know? I know. Sea otters. What about sea otters? They're cute and fluffy, and they go like this, and they're right out there. <laughs> and they're adorable. <laughs> to go in the water I think I, I will not you will not get my tropical ass in that water Hillary oh wait that's not true I've been in there before Mine. Well, no way, T. Hey guys comment down below do you think she's gonna do the full dunk comment down below I kind of want to go look for those rattlesnakes but I also just want to sit here on this beach for I don't know 30 or 40 more years <laughs> Hold on, hold on, T. Watch mommy, watch mommy. Stay here. There's all this like seaweed right here that's not usually here. Hold on, T. Oh. <laughs> you, you crazy, T. <laughs> How'd it feel? Really good. So I forgot my puffy little wind muff, so I apologize if it's very windy out here, which it likely is. This is the place, this bridge, if you guys might remember, is where I came with the girls from the Pearl Lab and we went rattlesnake finding out here. They did have radio collar tags on those snakes, which made them easier to find, but there was one spot on these bluffs where they found a snake that was not tagged whatsoever. I'd like to give a quick shout out to all the uh, cloudiness we've been having. It makes for great, fantastic light. I love the light out here. It's fantastic. Nice and even, flat. But we're, we're looking for rattlesnakes, not good light. Rattlesnakes. Well, you do plan to have rattlesnakes on your rattlesnake. What are you filming, Davis? That water thing over there. That water thing? Mm -hmm. Oh, the ocean? Mm -hmm. You know, okay. you guys don't get a lot of that in Minnesota, do you? No, no, we have things that look like that, but they're lakes. Here's kind of the way I look at it. Like, worst case scenario, we don't find any rattlesnakes out here. But that we, would be the worst case that scenario. That would be the worst case scenario, but then we do have that. That is beautiful. Yeah. That is wow. Nice, huh? Yeah, yeah, all right, rattlesnakes. If Dave would quit stopping to take shots of the ocean, we might actually be able to get some herping done. Don't blame your lack of uh, herping skills on me. You wanna flip this? It's awesome. Just a little northern Pacific rattlesnake sitting right here. I thought that 
our chances of finding a rattlesnake are going to be pretty slim, and I think they were, but you know what? We freaking found one! <laughs> <laughs> I keep picking up the camera and talking about like how stoked I am about it and then I'm just talking about it to the camera in that slight fashion then I then I stand up and what happens after I stand up and put down the camera is I go yeah! frumping yeah. stoked <laughs> ah! yes <laughs> We're gonna move him back into the safety of the cover so he doesn't get sniped by a bird real quick. And uh, I guess we're not gonna do the, the herp room tour with Dave because this is the thing that I wanted to happen. If this didn't happen, we're gonna do the herp room tour. Dave is still gonna do a tour of my snake room. So you're gonna have to go over, subscribe to his channel and follow him over there and see what happens. So we need to get Dave's subscriber count up because he's been, uh, he cries at night a little bit when he goes and counts it, so. I cry during the day too. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want that to happen. So, no crying, take care of each other, take care of yourselves. Look at all that cash money. Where'd you Come get on. it? I don't know, but here, hold some up. Let's hold some up. This one, the reptile from on a super show. We did so good at that show. We got all kinds of cash money. More cash money than you can even imagine what to do with. I don't even know what we're going to do with all this cash money. We're just going to throw it around the room and say, yeah. Cash money, cash money, cash money.